and we have two filters. This is pretty cool. Right now, the filters are being run in series, meaning uh, the sound is going from my oscillators into filter one, out of filter one, into filter two, out of filter two, and on to the next circuit, which would be the, the uh, amplifier. You'll notice there's a button here. I can switch it into parallel mode. So this is gonna cause the oscillators will come into both filter one and two simultaneously, and then out of filter one and two, and they'll be combined out of filter one and two. You'll notice there's a blend section here. That blend is basically your balance or your mix between the two filters. So if I wanna hear both filters in equal amounts, we put them in the center. Now what's great about, I'm just gonna set it to, uh, we'll put it in series and I'm gonna say, just to listen to the first filter. Now what's great about this first filter is it's a multi-mode filter. Right now we're listening to the low pass. I can also put it into high pass. We have something called a peak filter. We have a band, what's that BR? Yeah, that's band reject. Band reject is opposite of band pass, and as I said, band pass is nothing more than a high pass filter and a low pass filter together. Hear that sound a lot with uh, crystal method. They use a lot of bandpass filters. This does have a fil uh, drive circuit built into it. That drive is an overdrive for this particular filter. It's different than distortion. If you look over to the side, we do have these effects and there is a distortion circuit, but it's gonna sound different than overdriving the filter. Then the overdrive of the filter is like a feedback, fil feedback into it. Not unlike resonance. Just makes it for a a much uh, thicker, heavier, hairier sound. And then on the other side, we have just a classic low pass filter and we can switch between the different. We have 12, 18, and 24, and of course there's the dedicated fat button. One other thing that I will mention about filter number two is it has FM, meaning frequency modulation. That means I can modulate the filter by oscillator number one, the tuning of oscillator number one. So if I bring this up. You can get some pretty cool FM sounds, especially if you're using FM, um, the FM aspects of the oscillators over here sort of add in the filter effects as well. You can bypass the filter completely by hitting the filter button. To the right, let's say we were using a, a bandpass filter. We sort of lost some of that low end sound. When we want to get it back, you'll notice there's a sine wave, a dedicated sine wave that we can add some of that low end back into it. Pretty cool. There's a dedicated volume button. You do have distortion. We also have brightness in terms of tone. Not that you can really tell right now. And then down below, there are some time-based effects. We can do chorus, phalange, or phaser. The intensity is the depth, and then the speed is the rate. So next up, let's take a look at the routing matrix, which is this center section right here. It looks a lot more ominous than it really is. We'll just Take a look at the very first one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just turn everything off in regards to this. So we're just gonna look at this first little box right here. At the very top it says target, and at the very bottom it says source. We'll skip the in-between. So let's say we wanted to adjust the pitch. Let's say we wanted to do that vibrato effect that we did earlier. So let me just turn this one off. And uh, we'll use, say, LFO2. So this is LFO2. Again, we have the free and the sync. So we'll put it on, say, a quarter note.
And these are your different waveforms off to the side. So that's uh, fairly simple. You've also got, um, say, your filter cutoff, one and two, or one and two, respectively. It's giving you the wah-wah effect. You can also do, as you can see, just about every single parameter. We can do our amplifier. 